Hello. Feeling slightly self-conscious talking to you in the park. Trying to get my head in the frame properly. We're out beating the streets today, which is a game. It's turned Chesterfield into a big game. And the kids have got these little green fobs, which they tap on the boxes like I just showed you. And uh, for every time you go between two boxes, you get 20 points, I think. Anyway, they're all over Chesterfield, so we're just doing our local area today, and then I think we're probably going to go further afield and find some different ones later. But it's good fun, a good way to get out and about and get some fresh air without having to uh, go too far afield and plan too much in advance. And the kids are enjoying it. So that's all that matters. But we've just stopped at the park for a little play. I'm probably going to have some picnics soon. See you in a bit. Hello, friends. It's uh, Sunday afternoon just, just gone 12 o'clock, about half past I think actually. Uh, and I thought I'll sit down and I'll have a little chat with you this afternoon. A little catch up about what I've been making, what I've finished and what I'm working on now. So first of all, here are my gorgeous in bloom socks. The pattern is by Hannah of Yarnia Design. And there's a lace. And I've got two of them. And the yarn was from um, Kitty Scrapper on Instagram. And it's a uh, Suffolk sock, it was from Suffolk Socks. And it's an MCN base. And the colour is Espadrille. And then it's got the West Yorkshire Spinners um, signature four ply toes and heels in the um, Sweet Pea colourway. And I've used my usual. Uh, recipe which is um, a 2.25 millimeter chowgu red lace needle uh, and I do top down no I didn't I did toe up for these I lie so it wasn't usual so I started my toe with uh, the I can't remember the name of the method that I use, but it's where you cast on 12 stitches, knit across them, slide it to the other end of the needle and pick up and knit 12 stitches off the other, off the cast on edge. Uh, so I did that for the toe and then I've got toe increases and then I've gone up the foot I put a forethought heel line in and then carried on and I've just put the tiniest little bit of tipping, just one row on the top of the heel, uh, on the top of the cuff, sorry. So they're all ready to wear now and I'm very excited. I love the colours in this yarn, just so beautiful. So that's that. And then I decided to cast on, because um, it's my birthday week this coming week, I'm going to be 40 on Thursday. So I thought I shall cast on a pair of birthday socks. I know I was a little bit early. I know you're supposed to cast them on on your birthday, but it makes me feel anxious not having socks on the needle. So now I'm knitting these. You saw me working on the cuff at work. Um, I think it might have been Wednesday last week. I'm not sure. But this yarn is from Snuggly Stars and it's got gold sparkle, which I'm not sure you can see in this light. I've got one of my little bauble, multicolored bauble stitch markers with stars in it. It's not a stitch marker, it's a progress keeper. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm absolutely loving the colours in this and it was um, a limited edition yarn that she dyed and it's called You Know You Want It, E-W-E <laughs> and it was the last one she ever had so I sort of felt, you know, it, it, you, you take your chance or you lose it forever don't you and I loved it so much so I went for it. Uh, so that's that and the heels and toes are going to be in this rather marvellous um, neon pink which is a socks yeah, coupe knits socks yeah and I think it's Zenon. I can never quite remember. I did have the tag for it somewhere. I'm not quite sure what I've done with it. So I'm not far off putting the heel line in for these. I'm very pleased with that. It's just a plain old vanilla sock, two by two rib, top down, all my favourite things. My birthday, ooh, 
my birthday socks and I'm going to knit them the way I want to. Uh, I'm wearing my star shower cowl today, by the way. I'm not sure how well you can see it in this sunlight. Uh, and this is a gradient um, skein that was dyed by Pook GB. Or is it Pook UK? One or the other. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the um, designer of the star shower cowl, but um, it's really easy to find on uh, Instagram and Ravelry. And I just love the colours in this. And it's great for spring. It's not too heavy. It just sits nicely around the neck. You can tuck it up a bit round your uni coat if you want to. Or you can just let it hang looser, like I am doing. Uh, so I've made some progress on my Battenberg. It's getting quite large, actually. So I'm on the one, two... Uh, mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm on the eighth row. And so I'm working it square each time. And I'm not bothering about which side I start on. I'm just, it's just whichever, whichever I come to. So that's coming on nicely. And the other thing I've been... Sorry about the noise from next door. Screaming teenagers. Anyway, this is my, um, I know this isn't the best way to show it, but this is my uh, Cozy Memories blanket, which is about that far off from being finished. So I think I'm putting the final row on. I'm going the wrong way. I'm trying to find you the edge that I'm working on. I think I'm putting the final row on now. And then when I've done that, I'm going to put some kind of an edging on. So I've done these in the last couple of days. One, two, three, four, five. Those five up there. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I've got thirteen more to go. Um, and then after that, I think I'm going to be weaving in my ends, putting on my edging and calling it quits on this one. Um, I think I'm probably going to start another one at some point. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when. I might do something different. Oh, I might do a northeasterly. Anyway, I'm going to carry on working on my Battenberg after I've got this done. And I'm also going to be making a magic knot ball. And I think I'm going to do a diagonal corner to corner scrappy blanket with um, all, well, mostly. You know, I've got so many of these, like, teeny tiny little scraps left, which I can't bring myself to get rid of. Look, how can you see how small they are? So I thought, I'll magic knot them all, and then I'll put some bigger ones in, like this bit. I've used that in both my scrappy blankets and some scrappy socks. So I thought, I'll put that in. Um, and that bit, and then I'm just going to do add to the magic ball for a while and perhaps after I've finished my Battenberg I will um, I'll start work on the corner to corner so I've got quite a few more squares ready to go into my Battenberg but I've found if I work on it too much I get a bit of repetitive strain in the old wrist so I have to um, I have to balance it out and not go too mad but that's okay I'm a grown-up and sometimes sensible. I can manage that. So we're going to go out in a bit because Johnny wants to get me something for my birthday. So we're going to one of my favourite shops where I've seen a nice bag I would like. Uh, he's in the garden at the moment. We took down our old trampoline and took it to the tip yesterday. And he's building the new one that the kids had for Christmas. So hopefully they'll be happy once that's up. Oh, anybody think I haven't had a good night's sleep? But I'm hoping I get some more crafting done today. Uh, and I think I might just put my coat on and have a little wander around the garden. Have a look at what new life is occurring out there. <laughs>